I'm drawing on my wall. I like drawing flowers because my mom really likes flowers and she really likes purple, so I imagine them sometimes as purple. My dad thought it's a really good way to get your emotions out and help you just feel better. My mom was pretty and she was very smart and she loved to roll the blade. And she had to cut her hair because she had breast cancer. We're about to talk about a subject that's really hard to talk about. It's a topic that's very sensitive and emotional, but unfortunately affects many people. The death of a loved one. My dad was a soldier. I didn't have the heart to really tell them that their dad was not gonna come home. My mother did it for me. She sat them all down on a bed. She told them, she said, your dad's not coming home. And my son said, why, Grandma? And they're like, because your daddy was killed in Iraq. Miss Katie, Miss Katie! Hello, it's so good to see you. It's been so long. I missed your red furry face. <laughs> Well, it's good to see Miss Katie, too. I thought your cousin Jessie was coming with oh, you. Oh, well, she'll be here soon. Oh, good, because I wanted to see how you two were doing, because I heard yeah. you had some sad news in your family. Yeah, yeah, Elmo's Uncle Jack died. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Elmo. Oh, oh well, here's a picture of him. Oh, see? there's Uncle Jack, and he is your dad, Louie's brother, right? Yeah, cousin Jessie's daddy. Oh, this is such a nice picture, Elmo. Yeah. I'm gonna really miss Uncle Jack. Yeah, my brother. Oh, he sure did love baseball. Yeah. And he loved teaching you how to play. Ah. He was so proud of you that day, he gave you the cap right off his head. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna can't wait to see Uncle Jack and show it to him today. Uh, uh, son? Son, can I, uh... Oh, yeah, Daddy? Uh, he, he won't be there. Do you remember? How we talked about your Uncle Jack. He, uh, he died. Oh, yeah. Well, well I'm going to just show it to Uncle Jack next time. Uh, well, I'm afraid not, son. Uh, but I'm going to call him on the phone, right? No, son. You, you see, uh, when, when someone dies, hmm? it, it means they're, they're not alive anymore. Their, their body has stopped working. They don't eat or, uh, or breathe or, or talk on the phone. Oh. Uh, Uncle Jack died. It's so hard to get used to the idea that someone you love just isn't going to be there. Yeah. I was very sad and mad because I knew he wasn't going to be here anymore and I just didn't know what to do. Sometimes we would scream in the pillow. We would just put the pillow up to our faces and just scream, just so that you could get it all out. One of my teachers, she had uh, lost her dad too, and she just said that she would always write letters to him. And then I started writing letters and that made me feel better. My dad was really funny and likable and he had a lot of friends. My dad was a helicopter pilot in the Marine Corps. He had to deploy a lot, and he'd be gone for like months at a time. How do you tell an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old that their dad has made it safely back from Iraq and then taken his own life? I think the best way to cope with feelings is to just talk to somebody and just say everything that you're feeling and why you're feeling that. And like, it's like a towel. If it if it's wet, it's gonna weigh you down. You need to wring it out. We do a lot of things to try to keep his memory alive. He's everywhere, really. He's in the ocean and he's in the sky. And my dad was a major, so we named the dog Major. Major was born on the anniversary of his death. So, so many connections all around us that really keeps them here, I think.
Support for this Sesame Street special provided by Defense Centers of Excellence for Psychological Health and Traumatic Brain Injury, BAE Systems, Iraq Afghanistan Deployment Impact Fund of the California Community Foundation. Additional support provided by Ongoing Support by Walmart. <laughs> 